Hi, and welcome to Chiquitas Crochet. I have a project share. Well, it was not complete, but it's something I did. <laughs> I actually, um, I don't know how you say it, um, decoupage, I'll go see, something like that. Um, which means I used a napkin. What I did is I used this paper, like regular paper, see how thin it is. Okay, and I, I put some Mosh Podge first, and then I laid the napkin, and then I put Mosh Podge again. That's why it's shiny. And I love the wrinkle effect. I know some people might not like it, but I really do. This is my second one I tried. The first one's already on my journal saying that I finally tried it, and I love it. And I put it there for being my first one. But, uh first one I made was with this napkin right here so I really liked it I'll show you another one this is another napkin that I used it's kind of light blue if you can see that yeah light blue and then oh this is the best ever I love flowers so I really really enjoyed using this one and you'll see <laughs> And that napkin right I showed you first that one is this napkin right here so you can see that's part of the napkin right there so now this these here are the ones that I used see they're blank on the back it's okay it's for me it's okay I used it <laughs> And also, there's the other napkin. I couldn't wait, so I decorated it last night, but this morning I put, um, what's it called? Okay, here. Fabric glue, fabric paint, glitter, fabric paint, glitzy. I have this for years, and I still have some. It's a big, huge one four ounces and I got the set for from or into training.com they still have some but it's a little more expensive now but it's still worth it I have different ones some dried out and I threw them away but I think that was um plain so I just put around here since the other one I'm gonna show you this one I had put the 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 butterfly on here my husband goes can't you just um highlight it somehow the, the edges because it blends in i'm like oh okay so i grabbed the gold one and i put all the edge this morning and i followed the lines right here very lightly i didn't want to put too much to you know overdo the glitter and not show the color and then I, I got this trim, um, the gold leaf trim, and I put it in the middle. Uh, this one, this, I think this was the like the third one, because I tried layering it, and I don't know if you see how dark this is. That's because I put multi-layers. I didn't put multi-layers in the middle because I wanted the flower to show. So if you can see this darkness... And I did when I when I took it off some pieces. This is white right here from the little white that from the napkin. So that's what I did to that one. I really like the multi layers. And this is the one there. And as you can see, I put edgings on this one too. And I'm gonna put one on only one of these because they come like this. And I kind of wanted not white to show. And I put gold on there. Well, bronze. It looks goldish, though. Okay, moving on. I tried it on a Memdex. And I, seriously, um, this is just the cardboard. <laughs> but if we want to do this on the cardboard Memdex... You might want to do it on paper first and then put it on the Memdex. 
that's a better idea. But I was just messing around. But if you're going to do straight out on the cardboard, you might want to do multiple layers of white. Like white. The white that you take off the napkin, do that layer first and then put some glue and then put the layer of, for the design napkin. That's what I was thinking. So <clears throat> here's another one. I couldn't wait. I put the stem as a leaf. This uh, gold leaf trim, I put it as a stem, and I really enjoy these. I did, I did little ones. This one I did multiple layers of two napkins. If you can see the butterfly, this yellow part is from this part right there. And then the leftovers, I just ripped and put them on here because there was very little left. And that gives it an effect. I love these. Perfect. I love these tags, journaling cards too, and or I can add the journaling cards on top, or making a book like this. Ooh, okay, I'm getting too excited there. There's another one. There's another, and all these flower ones is one napkin only. See, they gave me a lot. So beautiful. There's another one. I tried to center one, at least one flower in the middle, and that's okay of the edges. And tried to not cut these purple ones off, of course. I like this. This one, oh yeah. That is from uh, Tissue Gift Wrap, see? You can also use the Tissue Gift Wrap, like, for the flowers. On um, this one, I put a light, light blue, and it looks pretty but you'll see here's the other one where I put the darker blue on the back my husband likes this one I tried a shape and it came out super cute uh, here's another multi I put several layers of blue you can see darker here and darker here and a little strip of red from the other napkin I just wanted to use all the napkins and all the little strips. There's another one. And for the last one, I cut the edges with my trimmer punch. Or for my punch here. I don't remember what this is called. But this edge punch. Okay. So that is all of my projects. Then hopefully use for my future projects. I love this one. Definitely. So, I hope you like this. And I'm going to continue to do more napkins like this. Maybe more layering. And if I can find more beautiful flower napkins, bees. I've seen some one on Etsy too. But I'm not ready to buy them because I want to use some of these up. I might in the future buy some from there. I saw some bunnies, some nature ones, but definitely flowers, butterflies. So, thank you for watching. Like, share, subscribe if you like it. Thank you so much and have a good day. Bye.